Hey, this is Kerry with Dynamic Motorcycle Accessories. I'm going to talk to you about another little product we've been working on. A little do-it-yourself kit for those of you that already have existing racks made by other manufacturers that are just a flat rack. And this will provide a way that you could keep that rack and just drill holes and mount our backrest to it. We make two different versions of backrest. They're both the same height and width. The only difference is the footprint of the mounting feet. So this is our XPN 6.5 backrest, which means that the distance between the mounting holes is six and a half inches. And this is our XP 8.5 backrest, which the mounting holes between are eight and a half inches. So we sell two different versions of our do-it-yourself kit and it will be the 6.5 or 8.5 and the way that you'll figure out which one you need is by just measuring the existing rack that you have. If you have cutouts in your rack um, or your bolt holes that mount the plate to the bike those are the things that we're measuring to avoid. So with the cutouts that I've got in this rack at six and a half inches mounted towards the front of the rack I'll be fine using the 6.5 with the 8.5 I would be getting close to hitting the mounting holes of this rack so that's how you'll know which kit that you want to order whether the six and a half inch or eight and a half inch so basically just by measuring on your rack to see where you've got room to drill holes will let you know which backrest to get to fit on your rack. So after you've gotten your DIY backrest kit, it will come with a drill template, it will come with four bolts, washers and nuts to attach the backrest and it will come with whichever backrest you order, the six and a half or eight and a half inch. So to install the backrest, what you want to do is take your drill guide and set it on your plate. And in this case, I'm using the 6.5 inch. Set the backrest over top of it, lining up the contours. <clears throat> the arrow on the drill guide will point towards the front of the bike. So there's a couple ways that we can do this. We can either just set the backrest on here, put it in a position that looks good to you. We found that most backrests, if they're in the position just straight off the back of the rear seat, or in a lot of cases, the luggage rack that you've got will be in about that same position. If you're straight up from that, that's usually a good position. But the thing that you can do if you want is use the included clamps that we provide. Clamp the backrest over top the drill guide. After you've clamped the backrest to the drill guide, you can either sit on the bike with your passenger to where your passenger can see if that feels like it's in a good position. The clamps will hold it steady but not enough to put a whole lot of pressure on it but it'll let your passenger get a feel for where it's at and then you can adjust it from there the other thing you can do if you want is if it's on a center stand and secure you can get on the bike and see how it feels and that feels like it's in a good position there So now that we've found a good position for the backrest, we'll go ahead and take the clamps, clamp on the outer part of the drill template, take the backrest off, and get a measuring taper ruler, and just measure from a couple points to make sure that this template is sitting centered. 
So we can measure from the front of the rack back to any point. So right here I'm inch and a half to the front. So I'll match that on the other side. I'm an inch and a half. Then I can measure from the side. So I'm measuring from the side. I'm seven eighths of an inch on this side. And about three quarters of an inch on that side. So I can just scoot this towards me just a little bit. Just double check my front measurement, still inch and a half up to the side. And that looks good. So now with my drill template guide in place, to help with drilling accuracy, we've made a small hole in our drill template, which is about a 332nd that you'll find in most common drill bit sets. So I'm going to just start my hole. mark it. Now I'll remove the drill guide. Then I'm going to remove the rack. If you want to drill it in place you can. You get little metal shavings that'll fall on the bike. If you remove it we'll just keep those metal shavings off. It'll also make it easier to just attach the backrest with the rack off the bike. So at this point with the markings that I've got drilled in, I'll go ahead and drill those out the rest of the way with my small drill bit and then I'll switch to a quarter inch drill bit and drill it out the rest of the way. So after you've drilled out your plate, you'll have some little burrs on the bottom. You can use half inch drill bit and just use it like a reamer. That'll take the little burrs off. And you can do the same thing to the top side too. Just a couple turns with a larger drill bit. Okay, so there we're drilled out and ready to put the backrest on. Once you've got your nuts started on the back, what works best is using a regular L-shaped Allen wrench on the top. And then either an open end wrench on the back or a little quicker ratchet up, socket on the back.
So once you've got that tightened down onto your existing plate, we're ready to put it back on the bike. There you have it. It's ready to ride. So depending on your application, you may have to reattach your luggage plate to the bike before the backrest goes on. In that case, you would just mount the backrest and just have to work from underneath with a wrench or up top, just holding it with a wrench on the bottom and moving the Allen head on the top. Here it is after I've got it mounted on the bike. We hope this kit makes it easier for a lot of people to get our backrests on their bikes and be able to have a safe, comfortable ride for their passengers. Thanks.